Forget about KFC or any other dirty joints. You wanna make fry food just like this. Pork Milanese for you, ladies and gentlemen, with a beautiful tomato salad, done in less than 10 minutes. Minutes! You can have a fantastic meal, thanks to me. Come on, let's make it together. Look what's happening, okay? Look, like, listen to the crunch. This is crunch. This is the crunch. Hi, and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate and the pork milanese here just for you. A dish that I really love, I can make when I have no time to cook, but I still wanna have something delicious in my belly. It might look difficult, but it's not. Oh. How do we make pork milanese? <laughs> First, we need pork cutlets. Oh yes, I'm using two pork cutlets for two people, so one each. Make sure there is no bone in the pork cutlet. Then we need flour. You can use a cup, maybe more. You see, one cup should be enough. Then we need six tablespoons of breadcrumbs. We need three tablespoons of pecorino cheese, or parmigiano reggiano, chopped parsley, a nice amount, one egg, and lemon. And I'll tell you what to do with the lemon. And salt and pepper. We are going to shallow fry the pork cutlets in some flour oil. You can also use extra virgin olive oil to shallow fry. Feel free to do that. We are serving the pork cutlets with a very easy tomato salad, but I'm using, we're using these beautiful Kumato tomatoes. They are beautiful, they're fresh, they're juicy, and they are super sweet. So that's what I'm using to serve with basil, extra virgin olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and salt and pepper. Come on, let's start the recipe and let's make the pork milanese the right way. First thing to do, we need to smash and we need to make the pork flat, okay? So get baking paper, that's my recommendation. Baking paper, we're going to put the pork on the baking paper here. We are going to cover it, okay? And then we're gonna use a mallet, okay? This mallet is gonna help, okay? I'm gonna use the flat part here. And this is what we do. Smash it until it's flat. That's the reason why we don't want the bone on the meat because it can crack and you don't want to eat the bones. We do this, flatten it. So yeah, you want to make sure this is flat, okay? Okay, so, wow, oh wow, the big piece. Now it is flat. And now we do the other one here, okay? Oh my God, it's very flat. Look at that. Look how flat this is. And just get all your stress out when you do this. Get the mallet and break everything. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at this. Uh, meat is flattened. Big pieces, I have to say. Large pieces. So, perfect. We're ready to start. All right, guys, before we start making anything, put sunflower oil or extra virgin olive oil in a pan on a medium heat, okay? We wanna cook the meat in this oil. The meat is flattened, now let's prepare the breadcrumb, okay? We got a breadcrumb over here. I'm going to put the pecorino cheese in there, pecorino cheese. I'm going to put a nice amount of parsley, okay? Not too much, okay? Not too much. You can always keep the parsley in the fridge. It's already chopped. And what we do is we mix. Mix with your hands. What we want to achieve here is we want to crumb the pork cutlets with the pecorino flavors, with the breadcrumb, 
and the parsley, okay? Now, just a sprinkle of salt, not too much because the pecorino is salty, or the parmigiano, and a nice amount of pepper. Just put pepper everywhere. Mmm, yum, yum. Mix, and then we are ready to crumb our meat. Okay, here we go. Now I'm using one egg, okay? So we need to actually put the meat in the egg, wet it in the egg before it goes into the flour. But the meat, it's so big. I didn't think it was going to stretch that much. So maybe we need two eggs. Let's see. Let's have a look and just mix it quickly, quickly. Probably just enough for one. If you want to be safe, we're going to use two eggs, okay? So I'm going to put another one in here just, just to be safe. Doesn't take long, guys. We're exercising right now. Look, the egg is mixed. Something I learned from my grandmother. You always put lemon juice in the eggs so you cover the smell of the egg. It's gonna be so much better. So let's put the lemon inside. Just squeeze the lemon in there. Yeah, just not too much. Half, a half of half a lemon is enough. And then quick, quick, quickly mix. Oh, so you got the beautiful flavors of lemon in the egg. Right, first thing to do guys is we get the meat and put it in the flour, okay? We wanna dry the meat with the flour before it goes into the egg, okay? Put flour everywhere. And from the flour, we go into the egg. Goes in the egg, and here in the egg, we wanna make sure the egg it swims in the egg, okay? It needs to swim in the egg. And now from the egg, we're gonna go to the breadcrumbs. Now we're gonna place the meat in the breadcrumb, and then we are going to fry it, shallow fry it, okay? So make sure the breadcrumb goes everywhere. The importance of pecorino right now, so, so, so important. Oh yeah, oh, the smell that comes from this beautiful plate. The smell, oh, it's so important that you actually put the lemon in the egg because it covers the, uh, you know, egg smell. And actually the flavors of the lemon really comes out right now, you know? Okay, so this is done, this is ready to go. What we're gonna do now is we're going to shallow fry it. Come on. All right, let's test the oil. Let's put a little bit of breadcrumb in there. Oh yeah, the oil, it's waiting for the meat to go in there. All right, let's get the meat now and let's put it in there. Hello, babies. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes, baby. You want to be cooked. Oh yes, you do. What we want to do now is we want to shallow fry it until you get a nice golden color on the side. And when you do, you turn it on the other side. I can say to you, it might take two minutes, maybe two and a half, maybe three minutes. You need to keep an eye on this, okay? So as you can see, it's still pale. I want that side to be golden brown, okay? It needs to be fried, you know, it needs to look fried. Look at this beautiful crumb that we have. You can dream something like this at your junk food joint. This is, what you want to have on a Saturday night with your family. Look at that. Look how beautiful this is. Now, this is food for beautiful people. If you're a beautiful person, you deserve it. If you are not a beautiful person, you deserve it too. Yeah, we have to be generous to you. <laughs> I just want to show you what's going on over there, okay? Look, look. Can you see in the camera there? Can you see? Can you see what's going on here? Can you see that? It's golden brown just the way we want it. See, that's what we want. So what we do at this point is we turn it around and we cook the other side. Look how perfect this is. Look, this is crunchy. This is yummy. This is what you need to eat. Look at that. Look how perfect, that parsley. Everything is fresh here, guys. Fresh parsley from the garden. Eggs from the farm. We got the organic pork cutlets. Come on, guys. Look, look at this. All right, let's wait two more minutes and then we eat it. This is to the crunch. This is crunch. Crunch. You do get a crunch, yeah, with the sunflower oil. If you use extra virgin olive oil, this will be darker in color, but it won't be as crunchy as this, let me tell you.
And a beautiful cutlet here, it's ready. Look at that. Look at this baby over here. Look at that. Now we put it on a plate with kitchen paper. We put it there. You cover it so it absorbs all the oil. And now let's gonna cook the other one and then we serve it with a nice tomato salad. In the meantime, guys, let's make the salad to serve with the pork cutlets. So what we do is we remove the top part of the tomato. I really like this tomato. Look at the inside of this. Look at the beautiful inside. So you just do that and cut into small, small, small pieces, okay? We wanna get the juice out of this because it's so sweet, so beautiful. Honestly, you need to see how beautiful this, this tomato is. Look how beautiful this one is inside. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Beautiful, just the way it is. You do that, now you add extra virgin olive oil. Nice amount. We are going to put some balsamic vinegar. Okay, not too much, okay? We don't want to take over. Just, just a little bit of balsamic vinegar, just to give you that little kick of vinegar. We're going to put some nice fresh basil and you want to break it with your hands, okay? Very important. You break the basil with your hands, just like that, okay? Don't chop it on the chopping board because the flavors will stay on the chopping board. Do that. Some salt, some nice salt. Put some pepper, a lot of pepper. Put some pepper and, and we mix with your hands. Mix, mix, mix. Mmm, mmm, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Ah, oh, the tomato flavors, the one that we like. Ah, oh, thank God. We have tomatoes, look at the juice coming out. When you mix it with your hands, see, see what you create here? See what you create? This is gonna be the side dish of our pork cutlets. Guys, this is where the magic begins. Come on, let's serve this wonderful pork milanese. Here, we put the cutlets in the middle. Look at the beautiful color there. Look at this color. Look, the golden brown, or golden, whatever you want to call it. Look how beautiful it is. This is the color you want to achieve. Now here we have the salad, okay? We're going to place the salad right next to it, right next to this, just like this. And then I'm gonna put some beautiful juice on top. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you might need to put some juice on top and then we are ready to serve this masterpiece done in 10 minutes, under 10 minutes. Come on, look at this beautiful baby here. Tell me that you don't want to have this wonderful, simple and sensational dish. Hmm? You want this right now, I know, I can read your mind. <laughs> You know what time it is? It's eating time! <laughs> this is the pork milanese time. All right, look. Look what's up, okay? Look, like, listen to the crunch. This is crunch. This is the crunch. Listen. Now, I'm gonna cut a piece and look at the inside. Perfectly cooked. See, the way the pork should be, perfectly cooked. And I'm gonna have a piece with my tomato here. I'm going to make love with my pork. Mm. Mm. Moist. On the inside, crunchy on the outside. Mm. That tomato brings the sweetness to this beautiful dish and oh, my god oh my god listen again listen listen to the crunch mm. thank you thank you to the person that created this dish thank you so much thank you and thanks to you for watching this episode we will see you in the next vincenzo's plate video recipe with a better and more fun dish E ora si mangia Vincenzo's plate. Pork milanese time!